3,000 years ago, a man created a computer program which not only remains one of the fastest to this day, but also uses one of the most complicated computing concepts known to man. Euclid was born around 300 BC. He is mostly known for his foundation of Euclidean geometry. What you won't read in your history books is how he devised one of the fastest algorithms known to man. The greatest common divisor of two integers is defined as the largest whole number which evenly divides both. Let's look at an example. What is the greatest common divisor of 16 and 24? The answer is 8. Now let's break this down. One way to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers is simply to list out all the divisors of each number and find the largest in common between the two. This method is quite slow as well as tedious. So let's explore how Euclid solved this problem using computer programming. Here is his algorithm. Now at first it may seem like gibberish, but let me explain. Greatest common divisor is simply a machine where you pass in two whole numbers and expect out one answer. Now let's examine what happens inside. Greatest common divisor will call a copy of itself, passing it two whole numbers. But before it does this, it does a computational task called modular arithmetic, which means how much of 16 remains after dividing 24. Well, 24 cannot be divided into 16, so you are ending up with 16. According to Euclid's algorithm, we reverse the arguments given to the next copy of greatest common divisor. That would mean first we pass 24 followed by 16. We then repeat this process, passing copies of greatest common divisor, the computational result of modular arithmetic, from the two given arguments. If we continue this chain, we see that at the end we will hit a base case where the second argument is equal to zero. And according to Euclid's algorithm, in that case, we stop the computing and return the first argument, which in this case is eight. So now we go back up the chain, or rather back down. We're passing the eight to the original caller, giving the result we originally got. Congratulations, you now understand recursion. Now, Euclid had already figured this all out in his head and was able to write this program thousands of years ago. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.